Hello, friends of the earth. This is Dan here. I thought I'd uh, express what I have uh, know about Democratic hopeful Pete Buttigieg. Um, I like that he's a man of faith. Uh, I like that he uh, was mayor of South Bend. I like that. He actually did what he said he was going to do in the city of South Bend. He did quite a bit. He got rid of a bunch of junk homes, tore them down, cleaned up the city, rerouted roads. I don't agree with all the roundabouts in South Bend, but that's just the way it's going, I guess. I personally can't see in roundabouts, but uh, I guess it was to make more efficient, but I don't I don't know. I like the old way myself. It was it worked out fine. I don't live in South Bend no more, so it's not <laughs> really a concern. But not saying I wouldn't go back there if I had the opportunity. But really, I I, I need to go south, you know, Florida. But besides that, uh, I would think this would be a very tight race between Donald Trump and Pete Buttigieg. Judge, if he should win the Democratic ticket to run against Trump, I think he could actually win this. Uh, there's just some things I just like about this guy, and I'm not one to care for Democrats too much. But this guy, he's 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 a local boy, and you know you always support your brothers and sisters, and it's wherever you're at. And South Bend is like my second home from home. It's like my rebirth of uh, who, who I learned who I was when I got away from all the crazies in Detroit. I just need those years to uh, detach when I lived in uh, Wayne County, uh, basically uh, Detroit. And then I ended up back here in 2015. And then I bought a house in 2016, and I've been here in Ecor since. But I don't like the cold weather. Uh, we don't get a lot of snow here, as you might would think. That's the one thing good about Southwest uh, uh, Wayne County, but it's still cold. I'm getting old. I can't handle it. And there's a lot of opportunity to make a good turnaround on my investment on this house, which I only paid, I think, seven thousand eight hundred, I think, and I can get twenty five out of it easy. But I don't know where I can find down uh, down in Florida for twenty five. I do want to go down there. I want to find me a place, but it's got to have a garage. I got to have a nice built house, you know, or maybe Texas. I don't know. I want. I, I think Florida is where I really would be happy because I like the tropical feel. And uh, I don't want to be in the city, but I don't want to be in the boondocks either. I want to be with just some life and, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm st I'm stuck here for the moment. Uh, my Corvette's sitting in the garage. I would love to go out and drive it today, but the roads are wet. They salted them. Not a good day for a Corvette. Um. Get back about Pete Buttigieg. I don't think he would be a bad guy running for president. Uh, I hope him the best. Uh, I, 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 it's just, you know, it's, it'd be a definite change from uh, the White House. You know, it'd be the first time we won't have a first lady, we'll have a first man. You know, but I could care less. If he's happy, I'm happy for him. That's it. You know, love is love. That's, 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 that's all it is. So, and maybe this guy is about running for president. Maybe he wants to, to love the people who are forgotten, as he says in his messages. And, and I kind of thought about what, what his message is. And I kind of like, you know what? There's so many people forgotten. And, uh, yeah, we're doing good, but... We're not doing good. People who are well off or were well off or were structurally sound 
I'm doing good. I'm glad. But there's so many people on the streets sleeping. I mean, it's just, we're not animals. I don't even like to see animals out in this weather. So maybe Pete Buttigieg can change that. I'm getting tired of every street corner I go to. I see someone begging for money. I mean, our country's really fucked up. Put it simple. I don't like the way it is. There, there's no opening. If you can help, God forbid you 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 do something positive, and then they want to uh, either go after you for doing it or take your help away, so you're stuck. That's how I feel right now. I mean, I'm not dead. I'm not laying in bed all day. I can't w really walk a lot. You know, it's limited to about an hour a day. I would like to see opportunities where I can still get the help I can get and uh, prosper. You know, I know there's a point where when you start prospering, you let go, you know, you have to let something else go, but a new pickup truck is like $60,000 starting or $40,000, you know, I don't, it's like, I can't even find a, a, a truck now, a Chevy truck, 90s, like, with a blown engine. For a song and dance. It's just insane. And they're going for good money. If you got the right body style and it's popular, even with a dead engine, it's still worth quite a bit of money. So, I don't know. This is just a bullshit video. And uh, I wish the best of luck that Pete Booted Judge wins the Democrat primary. I will spar him all the way. When the Indiana primary comes up, which I am registered as a Democrat, but I've never voted Democrat. I usually pick the Democrat to fail. So when I go vote for the president, I usually go Republican. But I really like his message. He is an Indiana boy. You know, even Democrats in Indiana are not like Democrats in New York or California or Michigan. They do still have conservative values. So consider that. A gay conservative, I think it's awesome. And he is the gay conservative. And I I give him my full support. Well, if you're loud, be proud. Till next time.